Hello and welcome to installing Drupal modules and themes. Today we're going to take a look at what you need to actually go and install a few modules and themes and where you'll put those on your Drupal installation. To begin, you're going to want to head over to uh, drupal.org and once you're there, you're going to want to click on the download and extend tab. On the download and extend tab, you'll notice there's a couple of different areas. There's obviously a theme section as well as a complete module section that has various different categories and ways you can search. You can also search by specific Drupal version. So if you're looking for something in 5, 6, or 7, you can search for them here. And you can see things that are the most installed. Um, you can browse by specific categories if you're looking for uh, something that will work with an e-commerce system or something related to media or taxonomies and so forth. And then you can see some of the newer modules and things like that. So it's really a great resource uh, for getting started. And so let's begin by uh, downloading a module. I'm going to start by downloading uh, the most installed module, which is the views module there. And uh, go ahead and get version 6 of that. Save that file. And while that's downloading, I'm also going to go ahead and download a theme. Uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at what are the most installed themes that are out there. Oh, Zen, which is a sub-theme. Fusion, which is a sub-theme. Uh, let's just see. What's another really good theme that I can throw on there quickly? Um, oh, how about the uh, blog buzz? Looks good. So we'll grab it, make sure we get version 6, and go ahead and download that as well. Save those to my local machine there and then we're going to need to uh, upload those files. With my downloads complete, I'm going to need to actually uh, unzip those files and then uh, go ahead and install them uh, on my live server. I've already uh, unzipped the files and placed them into my files folder that I can access. And I've got them right here uh, in my FTP program. I've already got my FTP program open. Um, and if you're not familiar with an FTP program, uh, you might want to do a little bit of research there. Uh, possibly look at our installing uh, Drupal on uh, web hosting. And we talk about some FTP programs that you can take a look at. But I do have my FTP program open because I'm going to need to upload those files to the server. And there's several things that you'll notice. I'm actually in the, uh, the base installation area of where Drupal is installed. You'll notice a folder called modules. Do not install your mo new modules into this folder. This is for all of the core modules that actually come as a part of Drupal and you don't want to confuse any contributed modules in with that system. What you'll want to do is head into your sites folder and then there's another area called all or default. You could really put these into either one of these but I'm going to go ahead and place them into my all folder. Um, typically you're using this folder if you're running a multi-site setup or some other systems that way they can all be accessed so we'll go ahead and put them in here just in case in the future you want to use that area go ahead and create a directory and we'll call that themes and we'll create another directory called modules and now I have areas where I can actually upload my specific theme and modules um, we've got the Blog buzz theme, we'll go ahead and drop that in, let that upload. We've also got the views module, which I'm going to place here. Now, as you start to get more advanced in, in the sites that you're building and, and the type of systems you're using, you'll, you'll get into the modules area and it won't be just a single module listed there. You'll actually see some other folders where you'll see the features folder, you'll see custom and contrib. So there's a couple of different options, but really um, those are breaking out the modules into various areas. The, uh, the features are modules that have been built and packaged through Drupal features that are going to be made that are made available through other sites and probably installation profiles and things like that. Contributed modules are pretty much any module that you can download um, from the Drupal.org site. And then custom modules are anything that you've created there and, and put into your Drupal installation. So this may be broken out further in, in your area where the sites all modules may actually have um, some other subfolders in here um, for those specific and then all of your modules would be listed but for the sake of this demonstration we'll go ahead and just place it into our uh, base modules folder there um, and once the installation is complete we'll need to head over to our website um, and actually activate those modules so let's head on over so now that we've uploaded our theme and our new module, we want to actually go in and turn those on in our Drupal site. 
I'm on my site already and I've already logged in so I'll go ahead and head to the admin area and then click on the module section to turn on my new module. Um, I installed the views module and I'll just look for it here, turn it on, save it and that module is now uh, configured and installed and, and ready to be used. In addition I also added a new theme so we're gonna go ahead and turn that theme on make that the site's default so we'll actually be able to see it so we'll enable it and set it as the default save that and then my theme changes so very simple to actually add and install modules um, and start using them on your site uh, if you are doing that I would definitely recommend uh, either having some sort of staging or testing environment where you're testing these out first you might want to look at the the damp tutorial on how to do that or possibly look at the uh, module on the backup and migrate mod uh, as well because that one will allow you to revert your site back uh, if something were accidentally to break um, testing out a module or a theme on your website.